Yeah, Shanti, I just wanted to ask about a guru and choosing a guru and um, and how that is, uh, how you go about it and and what is the natural path to go on for choosing a guru? Yes. That's a very good question. People say I'm looking for a guru. Mm -hmm. You don't look for a guru, you don't shop for a guru. Mm -hmm. If you look for a guru, then you go by commercial advertisement, popularity, mm -hmm. you know, and you will go wrong. Mm -hmm. Also, you look for a guru that pleases your mind or senses, you will make a wrong choice. That means you are superior to guru to choose a guru. You are what? You are superior than a guru oh, to, choose, to, be, a guru, to, to right, choose a guru. Right. So really, we don't look for guru. Guru appears when disciple is ready. Mm. One doesn't need to be a guru. One needs to be a disciple. Mm. A student and teacher. When student becomes humble and more receptive and respectful, mm -hmm. ordinary teacher becomes a guru. Mm. One needs a guru because guru guides you. You cannot have a guru who doesn't know you. You know, people make a guru who is already dead. A guru is a big shot. You cannot talk to them, guide them. They have to be available personally to guide you. Mm. Books cannot give, become a guru because guru is the one who removes darkness. Guru. Darkness, light. Takes you from darkness to light. Mm. So you need a lighted candle to light other candles. Mm. Picture of candle cannot enlighten other candles. Mm. So one needs somebody who has experience can guide you. There are people who are very intellectual, they can stimulate your mind, but that stimulation would die away quickly. These are not the gurus. Mm. So one has to have contact of the guru who is personally available, knows you, guides you, you can ask questions, and somebody who has experience who can guide you. A accomplished carpenter can guide apprentice carpenter, mm -hmm. accomplished mountain climber can guide somebody who is learning to climb mountain, same way guru who has mastered can teach. Mm -hmm. But those who have become guru by reading and intellectual gathering cannot be. So really the concept of guru is really misunderstood. This is why many many gurus are popular because crowds go to them. They go to them because they can misinterpret Guru's teaching. If a Guru was face to face, will tell them, do this, do that, they don't want it. So they choose a Guru which is at a distance. So they do whatever they like and still <coughs> identify themselves that I belong to this Guru that builds ego. But in this book, sir, are some points I'm bringing out. Uh, my observations about guru disciple relationship i put some i will read just the highlights mm -hmm. do not search for a guru learn to be a disciple mm -hmm. choose a guru that awakens you guru is your friend and mentor somebody can guide you and support you maintain communication and satsang with a guru you just don't belong to a guru and guru is gone initiate you and disappear. Choose a live guru who is available available to guide you personally. Avoid hypes and public opinion. Be grateful to a guru that teaches you the bitter truth. People want somebody pat you on the back so you can keep on doing what you like. But true teacher, you know, just like parents, they care for children. They would tell the bitter truth and correct them. Mm. Choose a guru that makes you self-reliant, not like a psychiatrist come to me every week, you know. Make you self-reliant so that you can help yourself. Mm. You know? Sustain enthusiasm and avoid guilt. You know, like, uh, you know, when guru or teacher guides you and tells you to do things, certain things you cannot do, 
just don't feel guilty and sustain and enthusiasm receive and give unconditionally this is not bargaining i pay this much for college degree you cannot bargain with a guru because you have to be humble you have to offer with love mm -hmm. it is not what you offer just sacrifice mm -hmm. that brings the humility mm -hmm. and that point is very rarely understood mm -hmm. you know the humility mm -hmm. in old tradition disciples won't have anything they would collect the firewood so, you know that time needed in ashram mm -hmm. that was their offering okay. so somebody comes long distance sacrifices time mm -hmm. that is humility mm -hmm. somebody sacrifice some pleasure to come to guru and offer something that is sacrifice mm -hmm. but if you say i gave so much and with that ego you don't get the humility Crop, keep proper distance from guru <coughs> like you know guru is friendly but buddy buddy mm -hmm. you lose that real rapport mm -hmm. because you have to maintain some distance for the purpose of respect mm -hmm. because if you went to any evolved master who lived in the past you stay very close to them and you see them yawning or burping mm -hmm. and it and you lose the real spiritual spark because human body does human thing <laughs> so that is my point we receive what we deserve so don't have to worry if you are an honest student you will find honest teacher mm -hmm. if you are escapist or you are you know materialistic mm -hmm. you will find materialistic mm -hmm. guru so what we find is what we deserve and think clearly and be visionary and then you can make nature your guru there is a saint dattatre found 24 gurus nature is your guru so even if you have a guru think clearly for yourself in that the movie life of pi yes did you see that the movie life yeah. of pi yes it, did it seem like after a while that lion became that guy's guru more or less yes so this is what we consider you see nature life of pi? Yeah. Movie yeah, so Dan had that <clears throat> DVD I gave mm -hmm. him back. Okay. So we learn from nature. Earth, water, fire, air, space, you know, mm -hmm. sun, moon, all this teaches mm -hmm. lesson. Dog scared they give different example, but we learn spiritual lessons by observing. 